navigating the complexities of mental health often feels like exploring a maze with unseen corners. Among the shadows lies complex post-traumatic stress disorder, CPTSD a condition intricately woven with the aftermath of enduring narcissistic abuse. Recognizing the signs becomes a beacon of understanding and a path toward healing. Let's unveil the 10 common indicators of CPTSD in individuals who have weathered the storm of narcissistic abuse. Understanding the unseen wounds, the echoes of emotional turmoil. CPTSD often manifests in the echoes of emotional turmoil. It's the persistent feeling of hypervigilance, as if you're always on the edge, anticipating the next threat. The aftermath of narcissistic abuse weaves a web of mistrust, leaving individuals consistently anticipating danger, even in seemingly safe spaces. The weight of flashbacks? Flashbacks become haunting companions for those with CPTSD. Vivid and intrusive, they transport individuals back to the heart of the trauma. Whether it's a fleeting scent or a familiar gesture, these flashbacks have an uncanny ability to unravel the present, blurring the lines between then and now. A tangled mess of emotional roller coasters. The emotional roller coaster caused by CPTSD is often overwhelming. It's not just feeling sad or anxious. It's the erratic shifts between emotions, a whirlwind ranging from rage to despair, triggered by seemingly innocuous stimuli. These fluctuations become the norm, overshadowing moments of calm. The 10 Telltale Signs 1. Hyperarousal The constant state of alertness, hyperawareness of potential danger, and an exaggerated startle response characterize hyperarousal. Individuals might find it challenging to relax, plagued by a persistent feeling of imminent threat. 2. Avoidance Avoidance, a coping mechanism deeply ingrained in CPTSD, involves steering clear of triggers reminiscent of past trauma. It's not just avoiding places or situations. It's an intricate dance to sidestep emotional landmines. 3. Dissociation Dissociation acts as an escape hatch when reality becomes too overwhelming. It's a defense mechanism where individuals detach from their thoughts, feelings, or surroundings, creating a sense of detachment from oneself. 4. Emotional deregulation The inability to regulate emotions is a hallmark of CPTSD. It's akin to being on a ship in a storm, unable to steady the sails amidst tumultuous waves of emotions. 5. Chronic feelings of guilt or shame The residue of narcissistic abuse often manifests as chronic feelings of guilt or shame. Despite being undeserved, these emotions persist, forming a constant cloud over daily life. 6. Distorted self-perception Narcissistic abuse distorts self-perception. Individuals might struggle with a diminished sense of self-worth, constantly second-guessing their abilities and worthiness. 7. Difficulty trusting others Trust becomes a fragile concept for those with CPTSD. The betrayal experienced through narcissistic abuse renders it arduous to place faith in others, leading to guarded interactions. 8. Nightmares or sleep disturbances Sleep becomes an elusive sanctuary marred by nightmares or disturbances. The shadows of the past invade the solace of sleep, robbing individuals of restorative rest. 9. Heightened emotional sensitivity Sensitivity to stimuli amplifies in those with CPTSD. It's like turning up the volume on emotions, where even the smallest triggers evoke intense reactions. 10. Social isolation. Isolation becomes a refuge, a shield against potential harm. It's not just solitude. It's a deliberate retreat from social interactions to protect oneself from further emotional turmoil. The road to healing. Understanding these signs is the first step toward healing. Compassionate therapy, supportive communities, and self-care practices form the foundation of the journey toward recovery. 
It's about reclaiming autonomy, restoring trust, and nurturing resilience. Embracing compassionate healing. Healing from CPTSD due to narcissistic abuse is a labyrinthine journey, but it's not one navigated alone. Seeking professional help and forging connections with empathetic souls form the threads of hope in this tapestry of recovery.